Hello, I'm Daryl Goodman, Director of Products with Achievement Solutions. Today's feature focus presentation will show how simple it is to perform your year-end physical inventory counting using Resolve for SAP Business One 9.2 on HANA. Here you can see I'm logged into my WMS system, in this case on an iPad. However, this form factor is just one of many options. I could be working on a physical scan gun, a laptop computer, a cell phone, whatever the appropriate device is for your environment. We'll start by going into the counting menu. Here in the counting menu, you'll see I'm presented with three different options. A bin count, allowing me to do an ad hoc count of inventory at any time against a specific bin. Cycle counting, which would allow me to count my items throughout the year on a pre planned scheduled basis. Or the traditional physical count, in which I'm going to be counting all of my material, typically at year end. Here inside the physical count tool, I can just simply scan my bin and then scan the items that I find in the bin to count them. I'm going to enter my quantity. And since this item is batch managed, I'll go ahead and scan the batch as well. I now simply repeat for each of the other items I find in the bin. And when I'm done scanning, I can simply finish. This will post the record into a counting document, which I can review later inside of SAP Business One. Having finished, I can simply move on to the next bin, and once again, begin scanning my items. I'll go ahead and finish this bin as well, and I'll scan a third and last bin, and we'll post that as well. Now that my users have finished their count using the mobile devices, as a warehouse manager, I can come back into Business One to be able to review the results of their counting. We'll start by going into the recent updates, which will show accounting. Each bin that they counted will actually create its own record in the system, showing me the time and date and who did the counting. And in the event that there were any discrepancies, they'll be highlighted in red. So here you can see the user did not count any of the number two pencils in this bin location. So the system is detecting a variance of one, which will adjust that of the system. Additionally, if I look at the last bin that I counted, you can see that I did actually count the number two pencils in that location, but I also accounted an item which has a positive variance. This represents an item that did not have inventory in the system, but which I found inside my account. I could at this point go back and send my user, Daryl, to go back out and verify the contents by asking him to scan the material again. I could also uh, send it, set it to be a multiple counter scenario where I keep his count, but actually go and assign additional people to go perform an account and compare their counts. Or I can accept their count. When I'm satisfied that all the counting is completed and correct, I open up an inventory posting. This document will allow me to copy from all of the counts that were completed by my users and will identify the items that require changes. Here you can see we have two items that had a variance. In this particular case, I had the item that we counted that was found as a new item in the last bin that we counted. And the item where we had one unit that was not counted is actually being offset by an equivalent variance in a different bin that we had previously counted. Here you can see likely what happened is this unit was physically moved from one bin to the other without actually being recorded in the system. Once again, I can review and accept the changes, and if I'm happy, I can go ahead and add this to the system, which will automatically make the posting adjusting both inventory and the financial adjustments required. This completes my inventory posting process, and my physical inventory is now done. I hope you've seen how simple it is to perform a physical inventory by using Resolve Mobile for SAP Business One 9.2. If you have any questions or would like further information, please feel free to contact us at www.achievements.com. Thank you.